Hi, my name is Divya and I'm with Apogee Google Cloud. Welcome to the Edge Analytics module of the Apogee Troubleshooting Series. In this video, we are going to see how one can make use of custom reports to get to know how we can narrow down on where latency is being introduced in API responses. The prerequisites of this video are that you should have an Apogee Edge account, and you should have also gone through the Introduction to Custom Reports video in the Edge Analytics module of the Apogee Troubleshooting series. Latency in API responses can be hard to track if there are multiple hops involved in the API lifecycle. Custom Reports helps us narrow down as to where the latency is happening, that is, whether it's in Apogee or the customer backend or target. Custom Reports does this with the help of visualizing the data that Apogee Edge collects and analyzes. Let's take a look at a real example here to have a better understanding. So we have a situation where our clients are complaining of latency in API responses. We're gonna see how with the help of custom reports, we can track down on where the latency has been introduced. So I've logged into enterprise.apogee.com and I'll go to the Analyze menu icon over here, click on Reports to go ahead and create a custom report. Let's provide a report name, say API Latency, and also provide a description. I'll select the chart type as Line. For the metrics, I'm going to select the average of total response time and the average of target response time. For the dimensions, I'm going to select proxy to see which proxies are exhibiting higher response times. Now the total response time denotes the round trip time taken when the request landed in Apogee and when the response was sent by Apogee back to the client. The target response time denotes the time it took for the target to respond back to Apogee. It also includes the time it took for Apogee to connect to the target or customer backend. One thing to note here is that the target here is considered as the HTTP target endpoint that you define in your proxies or the target servers that you define in your environments. So if you have a service callout policy to another target or a callout to another backend in your JavaScript policy, then those are different and do not constitute as targets here. The difference of the total response time and the target response time is the time spent in Apogee. So let's go ahead and save this custom report to see this in action. Let's go ahead and select the time frame when this issue happened. And I'll make sure to select the right environment where this issue happened. So you can see the graph here, which shows the total response time and the target response time for each of those proxies that exhibited higher latencies during this time period. Looking at the numbers, you can clearly make out that the latency was introduced by the target. So I'm going to edit the report to add two more metrics here. One is the request processing latency, and the other is the response processing latency. Now, what are these two metrics? The request processing latency and the response processing latency both combined denotes the time spent in Apogee. So you can also choose to include these metrics if you wish to see what is the time spent in Apogee. In most of these cases, when the time spent in Apogee is high, it's usually due to the callout being made to some backend using the service callout, Java callout, or JavaScript policies. Please feel free to open a support ticket with Apogee if you would want to know more about the time spent in Apogee. So let's go ahead and save this report over here. So you can now see the total response time, the target response time, the request processing latency, and the response processing latency for each of these proxies. You can clearly make out that the time spent in Apogee is almost as negligible when you compare it with the time spent in the target. So in this way, you can easily track 
where the latencies are being introduced in the API lifecycle. Please do watch our other videos in the same module to get to know other use cases that Custom Reports helps to solve. Please do share, like and comment if you find this video helpful. Thank you.